Alrighty, today we are on Pride Win, and the reason being is because I've had a lot of people in the comment section ask me, Antho, if I already summon Armeliona, and let's just say I have her 3 out of 5 dupes, should I go ahead and continue summoning for Max Dupe Armeliona, or her skill page, or whatever the case is, or should I go ahead and start saving for units dropping after Armeliona? So, I was like, you know what, that's a great question, let me go ahead and sit down, record a video, going over the units dropping after, and to kind of see whether or not these units are worth summoning for, or... Can you go ahead and continue going all out for Meliona, right? So, I mean, obvious point of view is that Meliona is a festival, right? And I'm always, every single time y'all ask me this, should I go ahead and go all out for this festival unit or that festival unit? And my answer every single time will be yes, right? Because not only are festival units limited, A, right? But B, they end up being some of the best units in the entire game in regards to both PvE and PvP. So it's like, you you know you're guaranteed to have yourself a crazy Christ unit no matter what because they're festivals, they're broken, they typically oftentimes change the meta in a very very positive way so they end up being the best for a reason and that's why i always tell you guys to go ahead and summon for them and for those who obviously have a max dude meriliona well i'm sure that you can agree with me and say that meriliona does not you know I and mean, she definitely meets those expectations right of being a best unit in the game type of deal so yeah uh, if you didn't know well yeah you know but when it comes to the units i do talk about today keep in mind that they are seasonals which you can get later on for free and they are general pool units, meaning that you can always have an opportunity to pull them in the general pool banner just at a very low rate. So that's something I do want to point out. Whereas festivals, well, they're limited, okay? So I just want to throw that out there before we begin. But um, with that being said, I guess we'll go ahead and talk about the next units dropping. So right now, Merlion is in game, right? She's been out for a few days now. And uh, so I can already go ahead and confirm that the units dropping after Merlion will be Seasonal Party Mimosa and Seasonal Party William. Now, these guys were the Season 9 units, but on Global, they should be the Season 7 units. Now, when it comes to Mimosa, um, <laughs> very funny enough, this unit is a green healer, and just like the Season 1 Mimosa, she also has a Resurrection on her ultimate as well. So now, this is the second ever SSR Mimosa that we have in game, and she will once again have a Resurrect. Uh, I believe the only difference is that on her ultimate you do have a max res of 100 hp which is very very good in comparison to the other one so i think that's probably like the biggest difference between the two but this mimosa is not bad now i will say this she does play a role in just helping Meriliona be even better at a you know hybrid dps slash defending unit and the reason being is because um if all allies have the sense attribute aka mono green then at the start of the battle grants invulnerability to the ally was the highest all attack for one turn so this is broken right um typically i know a lot of people including myself like to have meliona as your main only green dps on your team if you are running mono green that is what i like to do and just having this ultimate uh not ultimate but the unique lr passive you pretty much give invulnerability to uh, Meriliona, which is immune to damage. So for the first whole turn, Meriliona is not taking any damage at all. And for her being a defending unit slash hybrid DPS, this is quite good. Truly, truly good. So, you know, I would say out of everything when it comes to mono green, they were only like, lacking a healer. I mean, you have offense, support, defense, um, debuffs kind of in a way. And then obviously, you know, heals, it wasn't as powerful, right? Because I feel like a lot of people, especially for those who started playing like, you know, just recently or just a little while ago, you probably don't have access to a green good healer so this mimosa that's going to be coming up after meliona will be a pretty suitable unit to have on the mono green team so that's not bad but where i do think she shines the most is on her lr dupe passive so lr plus two is every turn grant all all allies a special point increase buff every turn crazy that's like honestly broken and you have to take into account that season 5 charlotte right that unit also gives two special point increase on her skill too so let's just say you're constantly trying to recycle someone's ultimate on your team bam you get the lr plus two passive on mimosa that's already one and then you proc out charlotte skill two which gives them another two so that's plus three and then whenever that unit comes around they get another special point increase that's like half your ultimate points within like one rotation that's crazy so it's just like this unit 
is not only a heal battery, but it also special point increase battery, which I absolutely love. Um, also on the combined attack, it gives you a special point plus two, and then another 40% chance to grant a special point plus one buff. And if you do max it out, well, that's that's like what? One, two, and then guarantee three. And then if you have the LF plus two passive, that's plus four. So that is broken crazy broken again I, I think this unit is one of the very few that do increase special points on this gigantic scale so i love this unit i think she's fantastic unfortunately the reason why i have not used her as much is because i don't have her at lr plus two if i did then um yeah i mean it's like special points for days so lr plus five is the exact same thing as lr plus two except this time you're also adding on upon dying grant all allies a 100 percent uh, max hp recovery crazy so when the unit dies she pretty much has like a whole last stand mechanic to where cool i'm gonna go out with a bang and you know give all my allies 100 hp recovery which i think is fantastic so your entire team is going to be at max hp which is amazing so overall i mean as you can see it is definitely helping mono green and helping out merely you and hsp an even better unit so you know it kind of goes back to say it's, it's very weird because like well you know should i skip this unit or summon for them even though i don't have meliona maxed out i will say i have used i have ran mono green with meliona without mimosa right i mean i have her at lr and not lr plus two i really don't use her as much but i will say that if you are someone who is invested into the whole mono green team with meliona then i do think this unit is going to be very very beneficial um especially with lr dupes i have seen her go crazy on jp teams just like you know jp and carol wills absolutely love using this unit so she is not bad and it just makes merely an, an even bigger threat on that team okay so i personally would say go ahead and summon for them but only if you're willing to go ahead and get a deuce on her but if not then i do think she is a big skip in my opinion okay um so that's going to be mimosa now let's go ahead and talk about season nine william over here so he's not a bad unit by any means but i will say when he does come out mono blue really doesn't come back for a while in fact he's not even back on the jp and care side of things mono green is still very powerful okay so it's gonna be like that for a long while I'm probably expecting it to stay that way until the half Annie and the first Annie as well. So I'll also do a video on the anniversaries, so stay tuned for that. But the reason why this unit is really good is because on his ultimate, it's going to be doing AoE damage, which gives all allies to fortify level 3, debuff immunity, and then grants him a 5% reduced damage taken buff to all allies for every instance of, of counter attack present on them so if counter attack is present on an ally then grant them extend counter attack duration by one turn now you're probably thinking what unit does have counter attack which is going to be the season uh what is it season six luck that is on global right now so that unit is not bad on this team so i will say if you're someone who invested into luck and you got some dudes for that unit um and even the blue charlotte the season three charlotte that came out a little while ago then i do think this william is potentially a you know maybe a good pickup for that team but i feel like most free-to-play players speaking i'm only speaking from a free-to-play point of view pay to win obviously you might have them but for free-to-play wise i don't think a lot of people summon for luck i don't think a lot of people have dupes for luck even um so with that being said i do personally prefer mimosa over william uh just between the two because i feel like a lot of people probably put a lot of investment into mono green charlotte fauna Mariliona, etc and so having this mimosa is going to be way more beneficial than you having this william without a really good counter-attack in mono blue team okay um so mono blue he does fit into that as well if all allies have the technique attribute when the battle starts grant protection to the ally with the highest all attack for two turns which in this case is most likely going to be luck uh because again that unit fits perfectly with that team and then if you are rocking mono blue then inflate continuous shock damage on all enemies for two turns and then same thing for l plus five and then upon taking damage grant a 30 percent increased damage dealt to an attacking ally for one turn if counterattack is present on them which is not too bad so he is a blue defending as well which is really good because uh, i kind of feel like mono blue was lacking that blue defense unit so he's not bad by any means but again he definitely works around you know luck and season three charlotte of offering the counterattack mechanic so if you don't have those units or if you don't have investment into those units then i kind of feel like luck i'm sorry william in my opinion is going to be a big skip for most players i did not summon for him uh, when he came out on KR and JP, I was summoned from Mimosa just because I was in that same situation to where I not only didn't have luck, I didn't have a lot of investment into, you know, the whole counter attack team. So it really was not benefiting me as much. And if I ended up pulling the unit, well, it 
you know, it would have he would have just sat there essentially because I could not make him work the way that he was intended to. I couldn't put him on a really good team, uh, and I feel like that's going to be the case for a lot of free to play players, right? So William, in my opinion, I will say skip if you don't have the counter attack team, but if you do, then potentially this unit is a, a pretty good pickup, I will say. Okay, but between the two, again, I do prefer Mimosa for the most part. So that is going to be William and Mimosa. Now the units dropping afterwards will be Destiny, Vanessa, and Zora. Um, real quick before I do talk about these two units the half anniversary will fit somewhere in between these units dropping i just do want to clarify that it could potentially be be after zora and vanessa it could be you know beforehand but it will fit somewhere along the lines of these units being released so just kind of take that into account it may not follow the exact order but i'm just going based off what jp and Kara had so kind of take that into account okay now when it comes to vanessa she is going to be a green support and if we take a look at her lr plus passive if all allies had the sense attribute, grants red thread of fate to defending mages at the start of the battle, which is going to be giving them immortality for one turn if HP is equal to or lower than 30%. And guess what? Mono green once again, and only, only mono green, and it applies to defending mages, which in this case is going to be Mariliona. So once again, another green unit fitting on mono green and just helping Mariliona be that crazy, crazy menace. Honestly, I will say out of all the units that released up until now, Vanessa, in my opinion, has had the most impact for Meliona and the Mono Green team. Because like while Meliona is fantastic and everything, I even said this before, when Meliona first came out, I think the only thing I said that was like quote unquote bad about her or something that she did lack was a whole immortality thing. Because at that time we didn't have any unit that gave unit uh I'm sorry, any green unit in particular a immortality mechanic. So it's like that either either you were relying on a resurrection, which in that case was season one mimosa, or you're relying on someone that can just provide constant heals, which really wasn't meta at that time. So with this Vanessa, she brought the like the most perfect thing for Meliona and that is offering a immortality mechanic to defending class green mages in particular so yeah Meliona is just gonna be crazy broken with this unit so I mean automatically you can already tell I'm a little bit biased which I'm trying not to be but she is that broken for Meliona and the mono green team um so Okay, first skill, you're giving a special point increase buff to the ally with the highest all attack, which is going to be fantastic for Mar Marleona. Skill 2 is going to be doing a blessing of protection for 60% uh, to all allies. Ultimate, granting invulnerability to an ally for 2 turns, which means that they will not take any damage for 2 whole turns. So not only is the LR passive giving her immortality to Merleona, but you're also giving, or you can choose to whoever you want to give this to, but most cases it is going to be Merleona. So whenever she goes, Vanessa goes, you proc the ultimate, Merleona takes zero damage for two whole turns. Two whole rotations, that is crazy broken. And the way the unit works is like, the you hit the unit, and then you still get hit with burn stacks. Merleona gets hit, takes zero damage, burn stacks gets hit burn sacks and it's like the cool thing is that you know you have you you have a built-in mechanic with Mariliona to where she applies a taunt so it's like the unit is taunted you're not getting any damage on Mariliona and you're getting hit with burn sacks no that's too broken that is too too broken so I absolutely love this unit so so much and then you'd have a 60% chance to dispel two debuffs from an ally which is just even even more crazy um combined attack is attacking after moving immortality which is one of the very few units that does have this mechanic by the way so this can be very clutch if you are fighting up against like black ostas or anyone that does have an immortality mechanic so i think this is very very broken so i love this unit again i'm trying not to be biased but i have been using this unit for a very long while now and she definitely works. Uh, JP KR teams have been using her. I've seen a lot of whales use her as well. So just a, in my opinion, a must pick up if you are someone who has put a lot of investment into the mono green, which is probably a majority of free to play players. And then the LR plus 5 passive is going to be granting a 50% increased stamina buff to a defending class mage as the start of your turn, which obviously Mariliona, and then same exact thing. And then when you do die, you grant a special point plus 8 buff to all allies crazy so let's just say right i this this team comp is so disgusting you have charlotte season five charlotte you have mary leona you have mimosa and you have vanessa let's just say you get all those units to lr plus five right bam when mimosa dies she grants your entire team 100 hp max hp recovery bam that's one mary leona i'm sorry vanessa comes in whenever she dies you're granting your entire team a special point plus eight buff to your entire team crazy 
crazy, crazy, crazy. So it's like you're constantly having some sort of like last stand mechanic with this team, especially against LR plus five. So, I mean, I'm not telling free to play players to go ahead and max dupe these units, but I'm telling you, getting them, I think, is absolutely broken. And in my opinion, if I had to choose between Mimosa or Vanessa, I would always choose Vanessa because just this passive alone, ignoring this over here, it's too good to pass up. I mean, you're granting immortality to Merleona, which is already broken. So it's like the unit can have an even longer stand of providing those burn debuffs onto the enemy anytime she gets hit. And plus, what combined with this ultimate is too broken. It's too crazy. So 100% uh, I do recommend free to play players go ahead and have this unit on your radar. She is just crazy fun and crazy broken. I mean, plus she's waifu anyways. But I mean, besides the waifu part, she is um, definitely, definitely worse assignments in my opinion for the mono green and merely on a team comp. So that is going to be Destiny of Vanessa. Now let's go ahead and move over to the boy Zora. Now, Zora, unfortunately, okay, as much, as much as I love this unit, he offers brand new mechanics in the game, something that we've never seen before, and that is going to be Reflection Trap. Unfortunately, because mono green is so powerful, is so broken, you really don't see this unit into play that much and the team comp that you kind of need to build around this unit is is very very weird it's not something typical that you see so the way that this unit works is something called reflection trap so think of it as like a whole mirror force thing from Yu-Gi-Oh. so he applies reflection trap onto the enemy i'm sorry to your allies and then if your allies get hit then he does a reflection trap which uh when the effect is applied the damage received is reduced by 20 percent so you have a 20 percent damage reduction but then you also reflect it to the enemy equal to 300 percent of the original damage which is crazy so it's like bam you get hit you get hit with a 20 percent damage reduction uh, but you're also taking whatever damage that your enemy dish onto you, you're reflecting it back to the enemy, doing 300% original damage, which is crazy. So I've done a video showcase for the boy Zora. If you do want to check it, it's probably better if you do, if you do go watch it, so you get a better idea of how he's working. Because uh, saying it on paper right now, it is a little bit confusing. It's probably best to go watch that first to kind of get an idea of how it's working. But it's a very broken mechanic, okay? But I will say, because Mono Green is so broken and his unit being a blue typing, Unfortunately, between him and Vanessa, I will say that Vanessa is going to be the one that you want to go for. Not only is she fitting into the meta and everything and just crazy broken for Meliona, but Zora is like, there are very few team comps you can kind of make this unit work, especially in upper ranking PvP. And I feel like he's not going to be the best ideal uh, pool for free to play. Now, I know a lot of people, including myself, are big Zora fans. So if you want to do a few multis for Zora, because this will be our first SSR version of this unit, then go ahead and summon for him. I think he's cool. He He's a very fun unit. Don't get me wrong. Like, I feel bad not saying that he's summon worthy because I truly enjoy using this unit. He's just crazy fun and broken. But I will say, if you are trying to be someone free to play and also fit into the meta at the exact same time, he's going to be one that you do want to escape unfortunately so that's kind of my take on it uh i trust me i want to say something for, the, for this unit but i can't because i know that he's not really fitting into the meta like that in comparison to the other units that we already talked about so that's going to be zora again it's just a really good unit uh if you do have him on the model blue team then he grants himself a 15 speed buff at the start of the battle which is really good just allowing you to get the reflection trap early on but i mean Besides that, uh, it's, it's it's a good mechanic. It's a good unit. It's a good mechanic. But unfortunately, again, Mono Green is going to be super broken. It's still very, very toxic, especially considering the fact that the next festival is literally another green one. So it's like, yeah, 100%, he's not going to be fitting into the meta at all. So I will say Zora is going to be a skip in my opinion. But uh, again, if you do want to check the video out regarding what he can do, then uh, it's on the channel already. Go watch it and then let me know your thoughts. But that's going to be Zora, okay? So around this time, like I said, it's either going to be before or after Zora and Vanessa. It's going to be the half Annie. So let's just ignore the half anniversary for now, okay? We'll move on to Noel and Rill, which is going to be the season eight units for Global, okay? Let's see how good these guys are. Now, when it comes to season eight Noel, you can already kind of imagine that it's another Noel, meaning that she most likely is really good or really broken now she's not broken in the sense of her being a must summon but i will say that she is a pretty uh, she's like a pretty good counter to the whole Mariliona and the burn stack situation um and the reason being is because she is a blue healer so this is in fact our blue our first uh healing noel i believe i believe all the other ones are attack and debuff if i remember correctly so or support one of those but 
yeah this is going to be our first heal noel and the reason being is because on your second skill not only are you giving your entire team a buff but you also remove two instants of continuous damage from your entire team so that is going to be two uh removing two burn stacks or bleed poison whatever it may be you're removing two of those from your entire team which is not too bad and then for every instance of continuous damage removed then you also grant them six percent of own max hp as hp recovery for one turn which is not too bad so this unit um kind of countering the whole burn stacks in a way kind of but not really maybe just for that one turn but you also grant them hp recovery which i think is good so it's like if they get hit with burn stacks well you brought off the skill too you get to remove it and then you also get to heal from that which is not too bad at all in my opinion so i actually like this unit skill two wise is actually not too bad and then the ultimate is going to be granting all allies hp recovery you'll do 30 percent of max hp removing two debuffs and then granting them a damage resistance level three buff for two turns which is really good just allowing your team to kind of tank more though okay and then the LR plus passive is at the start of the battle, inflict a 35% reduced damage taken, dealt debuff one turn onto all enemies, which is uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Again, you kind of see that this unit, you know, when it comes to countering Merleona and the whole, you know, mono green team, it kind of works on the skill too, but everywhere else, not really. So when this unit came out, I was like, okay, she doesn't seem anything too crazy, but she can work against that team if you want to fight up against it. Um, LR plus two, if continuous damage is inflicted onto yourself, then grant yourself a 10% increased mobility buff. Same exact thing on LR plus five. And then every turn, grant all allies 20% of own max HP as HP recovery. So not too bad. A little bit of... It's not really, it doesn't say continuous healing, but it kind of is in a way. So it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Again, I just think that this Noelle is going to be a, a big skip, considering the fact that she is a seasonal and you can get her for free, quote unquote free later on. So I would probably say that your best bet is to go ahead and skip this Noelle. Uh, she's a good unit, don't get me wrong, but in terms of her fitting into the meta, against mono mono green wise is going to be a little bit difficult and you have to consider the fact that the festival releasing after these guys is going to be a green festival attack unit so it's like blue units while i want to say they are good they're not going to be seeing the meta for the most part um unless you heavily vest into those units and just completely whale out which free to play wise I don't think that's going to be the case, okay? So that's going to be Season 10 Noel. Now let's go ahead and talk about Rill, which is offering Mono Red support. So it's been a while since we've seen Mono Red support, just because this unit, you know, uh, or not this unit, but Mono Red in particular, is kind of straight away and they've been focusing on Mono Green. But this Rill, however, is kind of bringing the whole Mono Red support back. So he is on his first skill, granting an ally, defending mage, 15% increased mobility buff, which most likely you will run this unit on a Mono Red team because taking a look at the LR Plus passive, if all allies have the power attribute, grant yourself a speed plus 5 at the start of the battle. So this unit is pretty much a version 2 of Fineral when it comes to speed. We actually have not had any speed, mobility, um, etc. type of unit for a very, very long while. So this is our first unit coming back into the game that does have some kind of speed or mobility buff, which is really good. And kind of spices up the meta as well because, you know, you really don't see Fineral or Volta's in PvP nowadays for the most part. So it's nice to see that they are... You know trying to focus on speed and stamina every once in a while so he's not bad and then second skill is going to be giving all allies eight percent damage reduction which is you know pretty all right and then ultimate is a 40 percent increased mobility buff of your choosing and then partner partner skill is granting the partner mage a five percent increased mobility buff which is uh pretty pretty good and then when it comes to the LR plus 2 passive, at the start of the turn, grant yourself a special point plus 1 buff, and then same exact thing, and then anytime you do take damage from an attacking class unit, grant yourself a 20% increased mobility buff. Now, I want to say I have not had a chance to use this unit in person yet, but I've seen videos. I think this unit kind of messes up the mono red team because you are outspeeding Witch Queen. Um, so that's something you have to take into account, but... Because if you probably got the skill one, I think this unit allows Black Ops to outspeed Witch Queen. I'll have to double check again, but I think this real, in my opinion, um, he's not a bad unit. It's just I don't see the biggest use of him because, again, a lot of people do like to run Mono Red, but it's just the main focus has been Mono Green for a long while. So when it comes to real, I think you may want to have him on your radar. If you're someone that has heavy investment 
into the modern red team then this real is going to be a pickup 100 but if you're someone that focused primarily on the mono green team then maybe this unit is going to be a skip for you okay but obviously you have a decent amount of time to go ahead and choose what you want to save for um but that is going to be real and the season eight characters for global between him and a noel so so far let me know what unit are you primarily focused on which one is going to be on your radar so far uh before we do talk about our last unit which is going to be festival you know so the so pretty much these are these guys all right it's not bad again these units are very fun it's just it kind of sucks that they some of them don't fit into the meta such as zora which is very unfortunate but dude when i got this unit he was so fun and so broken it's just like damn i really wish he was like crazy cracked because uh he can be it's just it's just he does not fit into the meta for pvp wise but he's a good unit okay now let's go ahead and talk about spirit dive you know the green attacking festival unit now hot take okay hot hot take and i'm pretty sure those who play jp and KR can kind of agree with me but out of all four festival units that being julius black also Mirliona, and then this spirit dive you know i would probably rank this you know last as crazy as that sounds i know you guys are gonna be like what you must be like you must be like trash at the game or something this you know is when I went and keep in mind, I have this unit max dupe. Okay, I have a max dupe, I have a skill page with like three or four dupes, so it's not like I'm using the unit wrong by any means. He just does not, he's not as good in comparison to the other festival units, and I'll kind of explain why. I mean, his kit you take a look at his kit and you think, like, that's it, that, that's all he does. It's not bad, okay? So at the LR plus passive, at the start of the turn, grant yourself blessing of the wind spirit. If total silence debuff is applied to you, it automatically gets removed once per battle, which this is not really anything crazy in my opinion it can be good but i just don't see a case where it's being used heavily uh maybe against the you know red you know on the mono red team maybe this is good and then blessing of the wind spirit is increased damage dealt by 10 percent, stacking up to five times so very very similar mechanic to festival julius having that and then when it comes to the LR plus, um, sorry, the first skill, inflate the 15% reduced mobility debuff onto an enemy. And then if you do have Spirit Dive, then grant yourself a 10% increased speed buff for one turn. Second skill, it is going to be doing AoE damage if uh, you are inflicting a 50% reduced mobility debuff onto them. And then if you have Spirit Dive, then inflict silence onto the chosen enemy for one turn, which they can't use anything except skill one. Not too bad. And then the ultimate here, it is going to be granting himself Spirit Dive for two turns and then inflicts a total silence onto the enemy for two turns and then a 20% increased speed buff for one turn so you unfortunately do not get spirit dive from any other part of your kit except your ultimate so that's something you have to bear in mind and then on the combined attack you do attack after moving immortality which is going to be again one of the very few units that do have this lr plus five is upon gaining spirit dive grant yourself invulnerability for one turn which means that the unit will not take any damage very similar to what's her face vanessa right offering you invulnerability so they don't receive any damage for however many turns and then on the second part of the l plus five then your blessing of the wind spirit damage is plus 10 percent so i've used this unit before and i even said it in that video i just don't think in comparison to you know black Alza, julius or meliona He's not anything crazy. I think that his main damage definitely comes from him being at L plus 5 because obviously your magic attack stat does increase. But if you want to, this would probably be like the only, the only festival unit I would say that you are okay if you get him to L plus 2 and that's it. I don't even think that getting him to L plus 5 is really worth it. I mean, yeah, the Blessing of the Wind Spirit damage plus 10%. Yeah, you know, it's pretty okay. It's not the biggest, but um, I have not been the biggest fan of this. You know, I do think he is great. Don't get me wrong. I think he's fantastic, but in comparison to the other festival counterparts, he is probably the most lackluster out of them. And I'm sure that those who play JP and Kara, you can go ahead and agree with me that he is not performing as well in comparison to, you know, the other festival units out there, right? So um he's a great unit i mean obviously i'm not going to tell you to skip him by any means because again he's definitely he doesn't have anything mono green specific but he obviously can fit onto the mono green team and just help out Mirliona with the whole burn stacks and just damage increase etc so it, it's not a bad unit whatsoever i think he's fantastic and i definitely do think he's summon worthy a thousand percent but when it comes to getting dupe wise i think you're you are a-okay which is getting the lr plus two and that's um uh, that's pretty much it okay but i think i'll go ahead and end it there let me know out of every single unit we talked about which one are you uh most looking forward towards i think for me personally 
I'm Momo okay in terms of order okay this is me personally knowing what units I have on my account which I have all the meta units and I have them all max tubes etc I would say Destiny Vanessa is probably my number one pickup okay I would have her number one followed by most of number two number three wise I would probably have well I mean exclude spirit dive you know because he's a festival so i'm obviously going to summon for him okay but talking about the normal pool and seasonal units i would do v vanessa number one mimosa number two and then maybe i would probably do real number three because i also am invested into the modern red team and then maybe noel four william five and then zora six if anything i might do zora five and william six so it just depends on how your account is but that is how personally i would do what would go about it regarding these units but um yeah they will be releasing quite soon but most of william should be dropping in like uh a week and a half two weeks time i think and then vanessa and zora after followed by noel real and then you know but obviously this time is going to be a little bit different because of the half anniversary right but i'll go ahead and end it there let me know your thoughts take care peace